Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange, with yours truly, GDI Keza. How's it going, guys? Hopefully pretty damn good. And if you remember in the last episode, we got back after our whole break-in thing at Blackwell Academy, and we essentially just kind of looked around a bit, and we went down and spoke to Joyce, and we got some ingredients for pancakes, and there's shitloads of dead birds everywhere, which is really weird and kind of a bit unnerving. Anyway, let's continue on and see what today has in store for us. Uh, we're supposed to go and sit down, I think, if I remember right. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Ooh, pancakes. I love pancakes. That's why I choose them. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm sitting here. <laughs> Is there coffee with those pancakes? Because that would be pretty cool. Ooh, peanut butter. I like peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Yeah, creamy for the win. I guess nobody waters the plant. Thank you so much, Joyce. Is that even I'm a plant? I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <coughs> right. Mm. Now that's what I call pancakes. Yeah, they are. Let's eat them. So Chloe should be coming down at some point, I would assume. Or maybe not. Who knows? Uh, we're not going to finish them. It's rude to leave food. How am I doing? I'm just kind of sitting here. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, she's cutting something. Seeing <coughs> you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and he died in the car know, accident, Joyce. didn't he? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. Did we have green hair then? And this was the last time. Or was it just the light? Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you, Chloe. Or please, I'm... it's too early to start picking <clears throat> a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Wow, Jeez, I can't really? do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Hey, you told now, us to go. Paranoid. God damn it. Listen to yourself. This Nobody is so else awkward. does. Okay, so... I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Okay, so we got a journal update there. Uh, okay. Even though my body smelled like I'd been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. For some reason, it reminded me of the day we were going to teepee one of the neighbours' houses, and we even suck out but got chicken and ran back home, laughing all the way. <clears throat> I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, dammit. After our, 
After our academic espionage last night, I felt the same way. It's just, it's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine were trashed. A brand, a band tee and ripped jeans, so not me. But I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her. So I did. She probably thought I'd wuss out. Why? It wasn't that big a deal. Though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after... Well, the way she was kind of embarrassed after and said she would tell Warren. <coughs> Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. When I went down to breakfast, Joyce actually called me Rachel, which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit is really working its magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid on a sleep just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's odd how we quickly fall back into a, into an old routine. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode since she busted out a ye old photo album. I'm one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was that Alfred Hitchcock line about film being pieces of time? Like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photographs. I do think she wanted to see me. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband in a better light. When David was happy or laughing with Joyce in a picture, I wanted to say, "And who is that?" Plus, I'm sure it's no accident there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She truly is stunning, and somehow looks more punk rock than Chloe. The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo William Price ever took. Chloe and I are ma Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joyce really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything that we had as children and lost as adults, whatever being an adult means. Which was per which was a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me cruel cover, so I had to sneak it, so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. Okay. Right, so we need to find some sort of thing. I bet he's got it on his laptop. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about step douche? <laughs> Try again. I need more clues. How? how you still need the password, Max the Hacker. Keep searching. How would I get the password? Uh, that's the wedding. Maybe day, I, I could try stepdad for the password. No. I'll be amazed if it was just stepdad. Happy Sweet Sixteen. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family you love, Stepdad. Uh, what's that? It's just a... Well, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not going to be Stepdad. Such wrong. Yeah, exactly. I would have been amazed if it was that. That's a stupid password. Uh, Nothing to see here. Just corned beef and crackers. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. Nothing in it. There's a TV. Uh, what's this? Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. It doesn't seem that heavy duty. I can even see the combination. It might be a useful password. Ah, uh, I doubt it. 7171. Yeah. I don't see that as the password, to be honest. I'd be amazed. We might as well try it, though. Screw it. Ah, uh, it's not going to be 7171. Magic 8 Ball says no. Why would Come it. Way, Max. You totally oh, the laptop. fuck. Rewind. I didn't realise you could do that. 
Maybe I'll just go right back so we got two opportunities. Um, yeah, just there, it's fine. Yeah, why would it be 7171? Who puts their computer password as the same as their combination padlock? It's just weird. Anything going on in here? I could try the license number for the password. <clears throat> Concealed handgun license. Six three five six seven. Uh, maybe that seems like a weird password. Maybe we should just search some things. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Ah, uh, that's a really long password to remember. Four five zero 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 five five two one two. Hmm. I don't. Don't think it's that. It might be, of course, but Chloe can't get another gun now, unless she steals it back from Frank. Is there anything going on in there that I can see? No, better switch it off. Um, now we've already looked at the padlock. Uh, trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? 2001... What? That's not going to be the password. Why would that be the password? Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. <laughs> Video message from Mum and Dad. Uh, 7, 2007. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. <laughs> Honk just married. Uh, there's a bag over here. That's cute. Could be a password here. Uh, no. To a real life hero, 607 Survey Company. I don't know. Um knife? Was there a knife there? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel. Keep your wings up. Okay. Holy shit, there's so many possible passwords. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Uh, is there anything in the sun visor? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honour having you in the diner. Nice to meet that gen nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk with you again love to talk with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. Smiley face. That might be a useful password. Eggs and sausage toast, coffee. Uh eleven twenty seven oh eight. Come see us again. Could be, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be more obscure. Is there anything else around here? Or have we got everything? Uh, I didn't look around the back, but I don't think I can get around the back, can I? No. Uh, I think that just leads away, doesn't it? Does that lead anywhere? I still need to find the password no. to David's okay. computer. Yes, okay. Calm down. Uh, well, I've seen, we've got a load of passwords now. Maybe we should try some of them. Um, I feel like it might be an army thing. Keep your wings up. Oh, shit balls. No. No way, Max. Uh, froze it. You that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I feel like it's. I don't know. I feel like it won't be... I don't know. 607 Survey Company? <sighs> Try again. No, no shit, way. I fucked it. Rewind. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> Army. Uh, 63567. Worst hacker. No. And no way. No. 
No, back. Uh, can I go all the way back? Wow, that light though. Uh, so it's... We tried everything from the army, but... Family... Mm, maybe that one? Score. Yes! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, <clears throat> spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting classes all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids a dormitory. Ra followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Case number uh, 678. Uh, reporting Officer Anderson Berry. Incident report. Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.35pm at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. The officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Ooh, what did she Instead have? of stalking <clears throat> Kate, David could have helped her. <clears throat> Kate M follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? This guy's a dick. He's such a pleb. <laughs> <clears throat> Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Okay, I have a goatee. Uh, Kate has kept to herself since the Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? <laughs> Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Drugs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so sure. <laughs> This is so wrong. Oh, <clears throat> oh, creepy bastard. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Max Caulfield profile. Max online alias. Mad Max. Max Factor. Noir Angel. Maxine Caulfield. Student. B10T21F2015. Max's class schedule. October week 2. School schedule. School schedule. That's a difficult word to say. Um, 2013, 2014. Nothing very interesting there. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing mm. to make her sad. And mad. There really wasn't anything on there. Uh, can we shut it down or something? Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Yeah, I know, but... But why does David care? Okay. <clears throat> and we got another journal update. Didn't we? Oh, maybe... I think that was just the saving thing. Oh, but we did get a thingy. Hey, Max. Just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mum. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks, Taylor. I know you care too. If you're going to the party, I'd love to star you up, if you want. If I do go... I would love to get a tailor makeover. Talk soon. Kiss. Oh my. Kiss. Oh. Kiss. 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 Something. <laughs> okay. Right. What's going on with Chloe? Oh, there he is. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? <clears throat> I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else <clears throat> would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? Why is this you guy going to be such a me? dick? No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. 
like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <laughs> um, I'm siding with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, sure. You were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Women always stick together. Well, screw <laughs> you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. <laughs> Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. <laughs> I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. We didn't... Uh... I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Sorry, dude, but you're a dick. <laughs> Basically. Uh, sorry. Max, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> I've just... This all by himself. <laughs> understand? You just come in here for one day and I've fucked up the whole family. <laughs> sorry. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. What am I doing? What, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> um, are we going? Anything on there? No? Are we leaving? Is that what we're doing? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that? Oh, ah, yeah, this sounds like a good Frank idea. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. What the hell is he eating? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to leave it right there just before we get into this new segment. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and stuff like that. And I will see you all in the next episode. Cheerio, guys.